are back on Wolverine Women. I'm Sierra Wangler, and today we have two special guests from Michigan's women's gymnastic team, Olivia Karras and Lauren Marinez. Thank you both for being here today. So Olivia and Lauren, you guys had quite the season last year. You guys um, were able to be Big Ten champions, and you also uh, made it to the regional championship of the NCA. For this season, what has been your mindset? Kind of go into everything just with the exact same mindset, same thing, just a few new people on the team, but we're just trying to take them under our wing and get them into the Big Ten championship mindset, and then uh, postseason kind of starts at Big Five, I'd say, and so yeah. it kind of, from then on, it just becomes like way more intense and like every hit, like every every meet's important, but like every time you get up there, you got to make sure you're going to hit and the confidence is really important. And so we're just trying to make sure that everyone's on the same page. Yeah, like same thing. Um, I think one of the things we tried to think about is just taking every weekend, like one weekend at a time, like one meet at a time, one event at a time. And like, as long as we stay with that like rhythm, we tend to do a lot better. So. Definitely, and you two have definitely had quite the success for yourselves. For you, tied for 11th on the bars, and you in the top 50 for um, all around. Now, how would you say what has been your guys' keys for success? I think it's just, you know, knowing that, like, every day in the gym that you're just, like, working your hardest and working on those little things and the details that are super important that sometimes when the nerves kick in, you kind of forget about, and you're just like, oh, my gosh, I hope I make my routine. <laughs> but I think it's just, like, training your mind and, like, training that, like, concept of, like, all the details matter and like those things are important and um, a lot of the time we're so focused on like our team atmosphere that we like forget that we even have like our own yeah. personal like accomplishments but um, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah it's funny that she said that because like I didn't even know we were yeah. ranked you know, <laughs> until yeah. just now and so you kind of like get so focused on everyone on your team and what everyone's doing to contribute to Michigan as a whole as opposed to individually that that just kind of comes like as a side reward and so mm -hmm. we don't really like notice it but it's, it's a nice thing to see you know that yeah. you're contributing enough to be ranked nationally. Definitely and speaking of your guys' team you guys have a little team motivation every week and so um, who started that for you guys and how has it been received by everyone? Um, it was started last year by one of our seniors Lindsay Williams. Um, I think it was just kind of like a fun idea to like kind of pick up the air if like people were down and stuff but um, this year it was kind of the same thing we usually like try to assign someone that like you motivate it kind of just turned into everyone just putting funny things <laughs> on people's lockers which is like really good if you're having like an off day or something like I can read something off of her locker and like laugh and I'll be like okay like everything's fine now yeah. <laughs> but That's yeah fun. yeah it's been fun especially when you get like someone who has like a specific thing that makes them laugh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as your motivator and so like we call Lexi Lunky yeah. <laughs> which is like a mix between like a lion and a monkey yeah. and because her name is Lexi Funk so I don't yeah. know it somehow happened because Bev yeah. called her Lunk accidentally it was hilarious and so yeah. we put pictures of like Lunkies on her like locker mm -hmm. and it's just That's hilarious awesome. to look up and see it because it's like yeah. everyone knows what it is and it's like a team thing and it's funny and so it's also a great bonding experience. Yeah that's pretty cool. Is there like a favorite meme or a gift that's been spread around a lot that you guys Our would minions. say? Oh yeah. Minions? We actually we Our class decided got one, one day <laughs> yeah that we were just gonna go to the fishbowl and print out some minion quotes <laughs> and then we just kind of went a little overboard but it was okay yeah. so everyone got like their own minion quote that like kind of like was like specific to them but was still kind of funny just in general That's and awesome. yeah it was we it was broke fun. the motivator rule and just gave it yeah it was just, yeah. <laughs> it was needed yeah it was fun that's great that's great <laughs> so um i would say with the rio olympics being so popular this year and obviously women's gymnastics as well would you guys say that there's any member of the final five that you kind of would say you emulate emulate or somewhat similar to or that you just really look up to it's so hard because like yeah. all of them are like <laughs> yeah. so different but I mean personally I would say Allie Raisman mm -hmm. just because it's her second Olympics um, I mean Gabby Douglas too but Allie Raisman kind of just I, I don't know there's something about her that just like her drive and motivation is just very inspiring and um, I've always looked up to her in that aspect but it's hard to be like oh like I'm like her because our gymnastics college gymnastics and elite gymnastics is so different mm -hmm. and so to try to compare it is like hard but <laughs> We <laughs> were very impressed by them that yes. they made it that far. <laughs> I feel like Simone, just because her gymnastics is like out of this world, like yeah, she's crazy. She just set like the bar so high that I'm I'm actually curious to see who's gonna come after her now. But um, 
and Lori Hernandez too, just because she was a bit younger than I was when I was an elite gymnast, and I remember mm -hmm. like seeing like, oh, she's like so spunky and cute, like, mm -hmm. and now she's like all grown up and she went to the Olympics, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like that's awesome. Yeah, they're both amazing athletes. Um, and so for your guys' um, for your meets, you guys always have some pretty fun little routines, and at the end, you guys always seem to stick it with a pretty cool um, move. So would you guys say that there's <laughs> a certain one that you love to do after having an awesome routine? We like tried to plan it. <laughs> like there are meets where we like sit in the locker room. We go, okay, you're gonna jump on you, and you're gonna do this. But like we get so in the moment that you just like I cle I've like dabbed four times. Like I don't even remember doing it. And so you just, just like the adrenaline. Yeah, you get moment. in this yeah. moment, and like Paige is hilarious. She just like goes around and She's shakes hands with everyone, one. and like it's so funny. But you just get so excited that like you can't not do something that you're just like you watch yeah. the video later and you're like. Ew. Yeah, Why yeah, did I, I do yeah. that? I think the yeah. photos are the worst. Oh my gosh. Like, literally, like, <laughs> yeah, and they're just like, oh my gosh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, but, it's funny. Yeah, you can't really plan ahead. At least I can't. Oh, it yeah, just, I've tried. It, it doesn't, doesn't work. work. Mm -hmm. it's just, they make for it's some great gifts yeah, online, too. It's more Post fun when it just kind of happens because yeah. then, like, people add their own spunk to it exactly. and then it turns into this whole, like, everyone jumping on everyone. <laughs> That's yeah, fun. it's pretty fun. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, too, for your guys' interview. Up next, Olivia and Lauren will play one of our favorite games, the Whisper Challenge. We're back on Wolverine Women, and we are playing the Whisper Challenge. One person will have headphones on, blaring loud music. The other person will be reading a word off of a note card, and the person with the headphones will have to guess which word it is. So who wants to put on the headphones first? I'll go. You'll go? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and slide okay. those on. Okay. And I will give you these words to have her go ahead and guess. Okay. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and play. Is this loud enough? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wolverines. <laughs> Wolverines. <laughs> Wolverines. Wolverines. Yeah. Got that one. Did I get it? Yes. Perfect. <laughs> March Madness. March Madness. Marching band. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get it? <laughs> close, close. One word. You got one word. Madness. Madness. <laughs> Backseat. <laughs> You can skip if you want to skip and go back, or maybe I don't know. March Madness. <laughs> <laughs> madness. I have no idea. <laughs> I saw <a> backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Iced coffee. Iced coffee. Wow, Whoa, you knew that one. Good. I knew she was gonna get that one. <laughs> oh man. Easter bunny. Go again. <laughs> Easter Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're like staring I have no at idea. my soul. <laughs> Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny. Yeah. Perfect. Ooh. Is that the last one? Right? Oh, wait, I got first? one more. Mardi Gras. <laughs> Mardi Gras. Wow. wow. Good, you got it. Four out of five. All right, way to go, Livy. All right, perfect. <laughs> Did we'll I take this off? Yes, yeah, you're good to go. New England Patriots. <laughs> what? New England Patriots. Lucas. <laughs> New England Patriots. New England? There was more words? <laughs> New England Patriots. Does it start with an M? No. <laughs> New England Patriots. New England Patriots? Yes. <laughs> okay. Sunscreen. Sunscreen. <laughs> I'm hearing tree. <laughs> Sunscreen. Celery. <laughs> Sunscreen. One more time. Sunscreen. Duck. <laughs> I say go to the next one. This one's a lost cause. 
The Bachelor. The Bachelor. Nice. Oh, everyone gets the Bachelor. Who doesn't know The Bachelor? Shamrock Shake. One more time. Shamrock Shake. Wait, again. Shamrock Shake. Sham something. Shamrock Sham Shake. Shamrock. Shamrock Shake. Shake. Shamrock Shake. Nice! <laughs> That was all of them. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. All right, well, looks like we're going to have to oh, do... Oh, one wait, here. one more. One more. So she gets this one. Golden Retriever. Holden? Golden <laughs> Retriever. Golden. Retriever. Golden Retriever. <laughs> Retreat. Oh, golden retriever. Yay! <laughs> Perfect. You guys are tied Lolo? four for four, so let's do a. Am I done? Tie. Yes, you're good. <laughs> it was sunscreen, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Your we're lips were not moving. <laughs> you guys did a good job. This thing is so oh, okay. Ready? <laughs> okay, the 15 minute second starts now. Bathing suit. Belarus. <laughs> Bathing suit. Melon juice. <laughs> <laughs> Bathing suit. Bathing suit. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Woo! You're good. Love <laughs> it. All right. Well, let's see. <laughs> Melon juice. <laughs> Spring break. Spring break. <laughs> you guys killed it. You got it. Good job, Lo. Right. Yay. I'm that impressed. one was easy. Your lips were good. It was a good tie. Good. You guys killed it. Oh, nice work. Me. All right, that was hilarious. Thank you both for joining <laughs> us. And before y'all go, be sure to follow Wolverine Women on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook. From all of us here at Wolf TV, have a great night.